So I think that, you know, it's interesting, you know, that you say that grief is like kind of a no-fly zone for you, right? And I think that's true for a lot of people. And I think that grief really is probably the most complex emotion um, that we deal with as human beings. And I think that it's because it's so painful and because it's so difficult to even understand exactly what you're feeling when you're in grief, that people tend to um, avoid it and tend to push it. Gen- either, either they people have several different relationships to grief. They either push it away from them or they push it further into them. And um, it's understandable why people would do that. But both of those positions, and then people have all other kinds of relationships to grief as well. Those aren't the only two, but those are the two most dominant. But in either case, if you're pushing grief away from you, then you're pushing a large part of your life experience away from you. And if you push grief into you, you also get separated from that a large part of your experience and that experience becomes lost to you in a different way. And the life that grief lives when it's separated from your awareness can create a tremendous amount of complexity in your everyday life. And, of course, Carl Jung famously said that whatever you put in the shadow runs you. And this is particularly poignant uh, in the issue, with the issue of grief because if, because we can't deal with the complexity of grief, we try to separate from it, we will almost inevitably create situations that draw that separated experience toward us. And because the psyche doesn't like separation, the psyche likes integration. So, um, so trying to understand about the nature of grief is the process of coming closer to it and understanding the life that it has lived and the effect that it has had on us. And one thing that I would say is that I, I don't think that most people recognize that they're in grief. That's one thing. That's, I think that most people come into a, a, a strong sense of complex emotions and then they don't know what it is and they don't know to call it grief. And they don't know then that... And even if you were to call it grief, what is there for you in the dominant culture? Right? There's not a whole lot of support or education around it. So this is a difficult subject. Loss is actually different than than grief. And I think that this is also something that, because most people don't um, draw close to the whole issue of grief and loss, they fail to see that they are two different sets of experience. And... This, this is one of the reasons why people suffer so much with both experiences because of that, because of that kind of enmeshment with both, with the two. And loss actually has, you know, in order to come to peace with loss or in order to be able to accommodate the experience of loss in one's life, even if one can't come completely to peace with it. But one needs to, in order to be completely whole, to be able to have some way of being aware of loss and the effect that loss has. And... Generally speaking, with loss, the accommodation that is needed 
is different than the accommodation that is needed for grief in order to welcome them to the table. And with loss, it's, it's a matter of deepening and widening and allowing the way that loss is excavating its way through our being to be that. And I think um, grief is often the resistance to that experience. 